Hello, my name is Hideyuki Shibashi. I'm based in Lille, northern France. This is my second solo exhibition at Iba Show, and what has been consistent in my production is that I frequently use time as a subject matter and continue to experiment with questions about photography itself and the act of looking. In this project, I focused on the more than 200 slag heaps scattered throughout the mining area of northern France and based on geological research of each slag heap, I selected plants that symbolize each place. Then, in collaboration with Machiko Saito, a colorist living in France, we worked together to create natural pigments in the traditional way. The photographs, which were taken using infrared light to visualize the vegetation on each of the slag heaps, were printed using a gum bichromat technique from the early 19th century, with pigments created from the plants living on each of the slag heaps. In this project, my interest also lies in the relationship between the photographic image and the medium as well as the scent of each plant pigment. First, in fossil, I was inspired by the traditional Japanese paper making and came up with the idea of using wild plants found in man-made forests to produce handmade paper, which could then be used as a printing medium. The shadows of the wild plants photographed in each man-made forest were printed on handmade paper made from the fibers of the photographed plants using a fusion of inkjet and silver salt prints. This work begins by visiting the site one year after the fire, either caused by men or by nature, and photographing the natural transition of the site. Then, after creating handmade paper using plants that were photographed or that live in the surrounding area, I dyed the created paper with black or red shell from the site. What I explore in this complex process is the dialogue between the material and the image at each step of the process. It is also an experiment to see how much a finished image can be freed from the artist's control by including errors made during production. I use the soot and coal as pigments because I believe that these materials symbolize the activities of coal miners. The second chapter, Imprint, is an experiment to capture the imprint of the natural phenomena of the site through direct contact with the ground by burying developed negative film taken on site for several months in the combustion ground. After several months, the film is dug up from the ground and printed using a gum bichromat technique with ashes made from locally collected plants. I came up with the idea of walking through two artificial forests on different days under different weather conditions and times and documenting the trail using GPS and photography. The final image is then created by digitally overlaying more than 100 photographs of each artificial forest in the order of the route I took. The aim of this project was to examine the difference in the way paintings and photographs are seen by replacing the light, color, and time that Claude Monet speaks of through his paintings into photography.
This project was an experiment that investigates the nature of photography by overlaying the history of the birth of photographic technology with the history of the old trees in the park. By replacing old and new photographic techniques, Atlas number six on view at Ibasho recalls the time when the techniques for fixing photos had not yet been established. Photochromic pigments have a limit to how long they will react to light. So the act of looking at an image is also an act of gradually erasing the image. The botanical image fixed with blue photochromic pigment is also a reference to Anatokin's botanical image on cyanotype.